Hey, this is Steve of Steve's Apiary, and I uh, just want to do a quick video tour of our new apiary uh, that we put out here this year. And I know some of you might have seen some pictures, but I thought I'd uh, actually run a little video here, and you can see the bees. And uh, it's just it's just crazy over here with uh, with bees. When I first drive up here, there's just bees coming in and out, and you can see they're they're coming in and out of all these entrances down here, and. Uh, uh, we have uh, eight hives that are active here, and that set that's down on the end rack down there is just uh, spare equipment. Uh, there's nothing, there's no bees in there. There shouldn't be, but <laughs> I always check in there when I come out here just to see if anybody's taking up residence in there. But uh, uh, anyway, so far they're empty. So we've got uh, our eight hives here, and the three that are in the center, uh, the double diamond, double spade, and double club hive, those were all splits that we did uh, about, uh, oh, back during the 4th of July. And uh, they're just now starting to show up with a lot of bees. We can, I'm, I'm very pleased to see that every one of them have a lot, all of those three splits have a lot of bees coming in and out. Initially it looked kind of slow, but the queens finally kicked in and we got new bees coming out of there. And uh, so the population's starting to build up, starting to look pretty good. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, but what we've got is uh, uh, our, our uh, stands are set up here. They're about 18 inches off the ground, and we've got a nice big field here. I don't know if you can see or not. There's like three posts standing off in the distance there, and uh, that's the edge of our, of our property. And uh, so... These bees that have been over here seem like they've been much, much happier than the ones that are up in the woods on the hillside. Uh, back during the spring, this field just was covered with all kinds of uh, clover and flowers, and uh, there was just all kinds of forage out here for them. So uh, anyway, I, I think we're eventually just going to move everybody over here into this field uh, because there's so much over here. and. Uh, and then right behind the uh, hives are the woods, and very thick woods. With uh, There's a lot of sourwood trees and poplar trees back here, uh, so uh, they can have access uh, to, to that as well. So uh, anyway, and of course beyond my property over there, the field continues on for quite a ways, and uh, it's not as maintained, but uh, there's a lot of stuff growing out there. And uh, so it's a lot of opportunities for the bees just right here at their front door. So uh, anyway, um, we've uh, kind of kept a little space between the woods and the uh, bees. This way I can just drive the truck right up here to the back of the hives and uh, unload equipment and do what I got to do and uh, be away from the entrances so the bees aren't in my way and I'm not in their way. And uh, it's just worked out pretty well. I really like coming over here and working bees here. Um, so. Uh, Anyway, I've got a uh, hive inspections to do, so uh, we're just going to call it quits right here, and I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed the uh, walkthrough, and if you have any questions, you can email me at steve at stevesapiary.com, and also be sure to see my uh, website at uh, www.stevesapiary.com, and keep up with my blog. See ya.